Hi everyone, my name is Heidi Schwartzley. I'm from Beaver Machine Corporation and I'm excited to introduce to you today Alyssa Kessler from United Vending Services on our new show called Beaver Tales. I hope that you're going to learn a little bit more about life as a bulk vending professional and enjoy hearing from our guests who are willing to share some of their tips, how they got into the business and what makes them special. So Alyssa, uh, you're in business with your dad. Yes. Um, can you tell us about a bit about your business and how you got into bulk vending? Sure. So um, my dad started the company about 36 years ago um, and he started, you know, with a few video games and kind of grew from there. We do everything from um, video games, jukeboxes, uh, redemption games to ATM snack vending and obviously bulk vending as well. That's awesome. So you guys have been doing this a long time. We have been. And much longer than me though. <laughs> That's awesome. So how do you guys kind of distinguish yourself in the market? Like you've been doing it for many years. So you we have. Um, so it's kind of, you know, we pride ourselves on our equipment, the quality of the product that we have. Um, we always try to keep the most, you know, popular and um, latest styles out on the, our locations. That's awesome. So what's kind of one of your most popular products right now that you find is really doing well for you? Um, as far as bulk vending goes, um, our most popular product is a candy product, um, Mike and Ike's, and then also peanut m &Ms. You know, we can't even keep them on the shelves. People just love them. That's awesome. Do you have a personal favorite? I do. Personally, I love runs and we just brought them back and I've been loving taste testing them <laughs> every day. Awesome. <laughs> what do you love about the bulk vending business? Um, you know, it's ever evolving. Um, it's a huge, a huge part of its merchandising. So I love being able to research and follow the trends and, you know, really just put out there what's popular and what people are going to want to um, spend their money on. That's awesome. And then um, I had a question for you about uh, the beaver machines specifically. What is, what is it that you love about working with the beaver machines on location? Uh, well, we certainly love the quality of the machines. You know, we typically don't have any issues with them whatsoever as far as service goes, which is always great. Um, but also they have um, a great variety of um, different setups. So we can mix and match capsules and candy and different size racks that really help fit the needs of a particular location rather than having to try to squeeze something in or make something work that wasn't specifically made for that location. Um, what do the locations like about working with your company specifically? Um, you know, we're highly responsive. It wouldn't be unusual for us to get a service call at, you know, 11 p.m. on a Friday night and not be out there that same night to, you know, fix the equipment or service whatever the issue is. So, I, you know, I think they like the attentiveness and, you know, it's very easy to be able to get a hold of us where I know that some other places, you know, they might wait till Monday to get out there, but we want to make sure everything's up and running as much as possible. That's awesome. So you guys are like on call 24 seven. 24 seven. Yep. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, so what type of geographical locations do you run routes that kind of allows you to manage that type of responsiveness? So we, we basically work in the central New York area. Um, we're located in Syracuse, New York. So we do about a 70 to 80 mile radius around us. Um, so we have a pretty big footprint, but um, we make sure that it still is not too much of a response time if anything were to happen for us to get out there. That's amazing. That's a good thing for locations because that's it a struggle for them. <laughs> Do you have a funny story or a tale to share about uh, servicing your machines? So I was actually talking with my dad about this um, yesterday to see if he had any insight for me, um, but he did tell me one time there um, was a family that was at Pizza Hut and he got a call from the manager at Pizza Hut and they um, said that there was an issue with one of the games and you know he popped out there to see what was going on and it was actually a family that had the um, pool table bouncy balls um, that we used to sell in the machines all spread out on a table and they were trying their hardest to get full sets of everything so oh. they had 
<laughs> they had completed a couple different sets, but they needed to make sure they had enough for all of their children. Um, so they couldn't get certain numbers and wanted to know if there's anything we could do to help out. And it was just funny how, you know, the extent that someone went to just to get a full collection of a bouncy ball out of a bulk vending machine. So what advice would you have for people that are getting into the industry? Um, I would say that, you know, variety is definitely key when it comes to bulk vending. Um, it's an extremely visual industry. Um, and I would say that the most important part of it is, you know, keep your machines clean, keep them fresh and make sure you're following the trends. You know, people aren't going to want to spend money on something that, you know, they haven't even seen in stores for years. So keep it fresh and keep it popular and up to date. And I think you'll have a big success. That's great advice. Then I would kind of want to ask one last question about what is the best part about working with your dad? Well, you know, we have a great relationship. Um, we always get along really well. And he's generally pretty easy going with me, um, but he's a great mentor and um, a great person to learn the business from. He's been in the business since um, he was actually in high school. His uncle had a similar business. So, you know, he's definitely been around the block with it and it's great learning from somebody and someone who's willing to teach you everything that he knows so that one day you can be just like him. That's amazing. Thank you for your time today, Alyssa. We hope that other bulk vending business owners or those considering getting into the business uh, have enjoyed hearing from you and your experience and your dad's experience in the business. Um, you can like us or follow us on social media to watch future Beaver Tales. And thanks again. Goodbye for now. Bye.